How are you doing? <clears throat> doing well. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for the invite. We appreciate uh, reaching out uh, for us to be on. So for everyone watching, uh, I'll start by saying again, you are Thurgood Brooks of Rock Island. We're talking with you today. Uh, I just reviewed your bio for the first time a, a, a little while ago. It's very impressive. So let's start by you telling us about yourself, about your background. Um, I appreciate that. Um, so I was born and raised in Rock Island. Um, <clears throat> I have a birthday coming up at the end of the month. Um, so I was spending my golden birthday on the 27th, uh, kind of quarantined. <laughs> so that's not oh, how wow. I imagined it. We're uh, coming uh, same birthday. My birthday's coming up on Friday. So okay, yeah, awesome. we're about a, we're about ten days apart. It sounds like okay, exactly. So um, you have a similar feeling than I do being um, kind of exactly. quarantined on a birthday. Yeah. But um, so uh, born in Rock Island, I went to uh, Rock Island schools all throughout. So I went to Grant Elementary, which is now closed, unfortunately. Um, and then I went to Washington. I graduated from Rocky. Um, I played football. Uh, at Rocky all four years and did track one year. Uh, we won to stay in the, in the relay. Um, and then I uh, was heavily involved in the school, you know, but then I went, I went to Southern Illinois in Carbondale uh, and went to William Penn as well. And I graduated from Western Illinois Macomb uh, with a history uh, degree in political science as well. Um, and so uh, it was always important for me to come back home, um, even throughout my five years at school, I knew I would be coming back home and uh, being involved and trying to make a difference because uh, how important people were, community leaders were, and, and what uh, in my upbringing. And um, I've always been a leader, um, whether I like it or not. Um, but that's something that you can't take uh, lightly um, because you may not like it. Um, and I think it's important if you have those natural abilities. Um, that you utilize those um, to better people, um, which isn't always easy to do. It's tough. It's a lot of sacrifice, um, personal sacrifice you got to take. But um, I thought it was, I was important to come back home to Rock Island and do it because I, I believe that we have uh, such a great opportunity to show the country and the world um, what what we can be as a society due to our, um, if, if we truly embrace our diversity um and play into it versus uh neglect to uh, acknowledge it so to speak and so uh shortly after graduating um i i worked at chili's at first i was, I was a server for a while and i got an opportunity to do do a financial be a financial representative for minor women um and also i was able to get on a coaching squad uh of iraqi as a varsity assistant coaching dbs i've been doing that for the past five years and after after financial rep, being a financial representative, I got into banking, um, which was the transition as well. Um, I didn't go to school for banking or anything like that, but it was, I learned a lot and it was, uh, I was very fortunate to do that for about almost a year. And then uh, I was fortunate enough to do what I'm doing now. Um, and what I'm more passionate about when working with people directly and um, helping them uh, reach or obtain resources that they need to, uh, you know, live a life that everybody should have. And so I'm a family advocate now at the Martin Luther King Center. And uh, I've been after the past two years. I did coach the Steam Wheel this past season for one game um, until COVID came and uh, completed our undefeated season <laughs> prematurely. That, that was heartbreaking for fans. Yes, that for me too. I was looking forward to it and I'm sure the fans yeah. uh, were upset too. Um, but, uh, so that, that was pretty neat that I got the opportunity, um, even though it was kind of short lived, so to speak. Um, but really David, I'm, I, uh, I love, I love people. I love Rock Island. Um, and I, I believe that, uh, although, although Rock Island gets a bad rep, um, I believe that we have so much opportunity and potential um, and it's, it's about leaders um, being bold enough and being having an open mind um, to fully embrace what's net was needed to uh, maximize that potential. And so I'm just doing what I can in almost whatever capacity, from education to working with trades and uh, the police reform that, were, that has been highlighted. 
um, recently. And, um, you know, well, I want to ask you, uh, we're going to talk about those things, but there's something I want to ask you right off the top, because this is breaking right now as you and I are having this conversation. 27-year-old uh, Rashard Brooks in Atlanta, the uh, African-American uh, man who was shot and killed by a police officer just five days ago, it was just announced that he's being charged, the officer is being charged now with felony murder. How important is that case and this result uh, in the movement that's happening right now? Well, th that is, it's, it's critical, um, especially hearing that in real time. Um, I think it's critical because uh, too often we've seen not only officers not get arrested, but not charged or convicted. And so, I um, mean, when they are arrested, it's, man, it's, it's drawn out so long. And so, um, I believe it's will be uh, important in potentially getting to the next step of addressing that immunity status that uh, police officers have. Um, and reminding um, those public servants that they are public servants and, and that um, what you do matters. And um, perhaps it, it might cause more officers to think a little more before they uh, react to um, situations that they could, that are avoidable, I, I would argue. It sends an important <laughs> message. Oh, uh, definitely. It's, I, I, I believe I, I believe it will start sending, a, it's a message, because if you get arrested for something, um, and we're in the same field. I'm gonna I'm gonna not take a note that you got arrested for something, and so I, I may be I'm I'm gonna rethink how I, how I react in the situation that you reacted in the, in what, to get you to get you arrested, so to speak. And so um, it's really just getting that conscious thought um, in those officers' minds.